Good morning, YouTube. A popular mantra among car enthusiasts is yes. respect all builds. Right. No matter what someone's doing, they're a car enthusiast. Just respect what they're doing. You may not like it, mm -hmm. but respect it, appreciate it for what it is, somebody enjoying their car. Right. Uh, but a lot of people don't. And Jalopnik decided to poll their audience in the comments of what they think are the worst car tuner <laughs> fads, the yeah. worst mods that you can do to your car. And they compiled a list uh, of, of a lot of good ones, I right. think. Right, yeah? Yes. Okay. What, what is your like top? What do you can't stand? Oh, I really don't like stanced cars at right. all. Yeah. I, I just don't really? like the look of bag stance nation huh. and all that stuff and where it's poking and, and hitting the fenders right. and the bumpers are falling off so they have to put clips on to hold the bumpers on because yeah. they're hitting on everything, getting stuck on speed bumps right. and that whole life. Like it completely sacrifices the usability of the car, right. the ride of the car, mm -hmm. and it looks, especially when they're stanced like, it, it looks stupid. Right. That's probably on this list, but I'm we're sure gonna find it's gonna out. be on this How list. How about you? I, don't, I really like ground effects, like guys are pulling up in a Lamborghini, like this is like crazy, obnoxious, Extra lights? green Lambo, and then they've got the green lights underneath, like it's floating in that same color. Like, I don't know, it's just a little I, overkill. I had an orange Lambo, <laughs> and it had extra orange lights Wait, on you're, it. Wait, you had light? Where were My the lights? My Murcielago Roadster, inside, Murcielago means bat, and inside the little bat wings that fold up, you could flip a switch, and there would be orange glow inside of it. It was so cool. That would be, I, that would be okay. It was so cool. But under the car, I, I don't. Get with that. Well, I, I don't take that. I had to sell that car because you said you wouldn't want to be seen. It, so <laughs> I think it's a great car. You're a car guy. You should have hmm. any car you want. So let's start the show okay. with Jalopnik's audience here. So their very first one is Angry Jeep Man. <laughs> Those grills that give the Jeep a face like this are so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad and tough and I am going to yes. Jeep you into oh, off-road. Oh. Well, there's a specific <sighs> guy. I What girls drive Jeeps too? There's a specific type that drives those modded out Jeeps like mm -hmm. that. And I get that the angry face, they do have faces. Yes. The only reason why I do like it because the car gives the car personality. Like I love when cars have personality mm -hmm. and that's just personality times a million. Yeah, well there's, we've talked about the eyebrows before. Right. Yeah, the but, eyelashes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've never dated a guy that owned a Jeep though. Hmm, mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. I have one, the Jurassic Park Jeep. Okay, see, there you go. Yeah. That's my first. Yeah. So next on the list is the foreign out of region badging. So oh. in some countries, a car is badged one way. Right. Honda is very particular for this. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, they're like Acura is a brand that's exclusive to the US. There's no right. Acura in Japan. Mm -hmm. So the Acura Integra is not something that you would see. So people will switch things around and up badge and rebadge and do different things to where people are confused. I had a weird Korean one too that was yeah. named something different in Korea and they could change out all the badges to make it look completely different. Mm -hmm. So that's a thing. Right. That annoys people apparently. Right. They just keep to what the car is. Well, if you're going to take a badge off, I think you just leave it off and have it look kind of smoothed over. Clean I don't need D badge. To... Right. I don't I think you need to that. add something on, you know, you do the Hoovies Garage logo on the front of your car, which there you go. may be okay to do. Hmm. <laughs> so the next one is diesel mods for rolling coal. Mm -hmm. So you put the big old smokestacks on it like it's a semi or a train or something <laughs> like that, turning the injection pump all the way up so it smokes all the black smoke because you yeah. shoot it out everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that like smog, like emissions? Oh, it's so correct? illegal. <laughs> It's so illegal, so. and okay. like the big YouTubers and like TV shows behind all these mods and things, right. they've been fined into oblivion for this stuff because yeah. it is very polluting and, and illegal and such. So yeah, and then the delete stuff that is being sold mm -hmm. is for like off-road only, but clearly people use it for the on-road. Right. So uh, yeah, that's a really annoying one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I I have to agree with that. Bro dozers. Smokestacks. Well, it's like having the blower come out of the hood and it's just like a little too much, a little too showy. Like, why do you do that? Are you exactly. on the racetrack? Okay, then that's fine. But other than that, it's not necessary. Yes. Next on the list is the Carolina Squat, which have you seen this before? <laughs> it's really dumb where they lower the car in the back and they raise it in the front. Yeah. So the trucks go down the road like this. Hmm. And, and what's the benefit of that? Some people missing a few gene sequences think this looks good. Okay. I yeah. think it's interesting. It's going to make you look at the car because you haven't seen it before. Incredibly dangerous because it reduces your visibility. Mm -hmm. Raising up the front so the bumper is gone from like rear-ending a pedestrian, a car, right. another car or whatever. Yeah. It's stupid. It's ugly. It's, it, it defeats the whole purpose of, of it 
makes no sense. Yeah. 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 So that one's gone. That one's Dumb. Out. That, that might be the dumbest one Do you one have so any cars that are like that? No, of course okay. not. Not uh -huh. yet. Oversized wheels on rubber band tires. The, the thing about like the oversized wheels things, I feel like they always hit the fender walls and then it's just like you're worried about every time you're turning. Right. And it just kind of could rub on it. So then you're worried about turning. Like anything that hampers you from being able to drive a car correctly, I think is an incorrect move. Well, it makes it much harder to drive too because you have a little bit of curb protection yeah. with some tire with some rubber. So most people who do this, the cars look like crap yeah. in a very short time because uh, just the normal bumps in the road and things uh, where you have a little bit of shock absorption with the tire, that goes away. So you brake a wheel, you curb a wheel, the ride goes to crap as well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it looks bad. They're using one example. This was a Lamborghini Urus at one point, which is already a very overstyled car, but then they put this uh, Man Street body kit on it mm -hmm. and it looks... Look, I don't think that Urus looks very good in the beginning, so it no. just looks worse. No. So, I could see some cases, I feel like the the Maybach wheels, they're way oversized mm -hmm. and kind of a turbine look. They look very pretty, Yeah. but uh, in most cases, I agree. Next on the list is LED light bars. Ooh, I mean, like, have you ever been in a car where you actually need them for more lights? Unless maybe you're, like, searching for a lost dog or cat? or something. So my 300,000 mile Ford Raptor has a custom bumper on it with a light bar that is like turning on the sun when I hit the switch. <laughs> yeah. It would blind everybody on the road if I turned it on and left exactly. it on at night. It, yeah. it, it's a nuisance. Obviously, I don't drive with it on, but right. uh, yeah, overall, pretty stupid. And people definitely overdo it in light bar, light right, bar. Right. It, yeah. They but have 20 different light bars throughout the entire build. If if they're the old school light bars with like the old rally cars, the, mm -hmm. I think they're called the Group Bs or whatever, or it's a bunch of those halogen ones that looks really like cool. The like the KC lights? Like on a safari bumper or KC lights mm -hmm. on an old off-roader yeah. or something like that. I love that, but the, the light bars no. are kind of stupid. Those are gone. Those yeah. are out. Okay. Next on the list is... <laughs> this is really stupid. Blacked out brake lights. Oh no. Why? Or mods that endanger others. I feel like that's like very illegal. So once again, my Orange Mercy Lago, these were all <laughs> mods before I bought it, but yeah. I didn't take them off. It had blacked out taillights. Like complete blacked out? Well, or you could see, when you hit the brakes, they could see it. Right. And when the lights were on, you could see it. But like in this case, like this Mercedes they're showing of the ML, just right. driving down the road, it's very obvious that it was taillights and it was the back of the car. But on this Mercedes, which is a black car, yeah. it's not obvious that this is the front or the back from a distance. No. It's very weird. It blends in. You need yes. red lights on the back to know it's the back of the car. Something. So, And the cat's attacking your hair. She's hungry. Why do you do that? You need to feed her more. So, that yeah, very stupid. I agree. But I feel like blacked out cars was a big trend, maybe like seven years ago a lot of people were doing mm -hmm. that and just blacked out everything and yes. at the time i will admit that i loved it tinting I loved headlights just like just every people all would put a blacked film out like a window tint over the yeah. headlights to make them less yeah bright like but they looked cool yeah darth they, vader style just, just completely blacked out mm -hmm. and matte finish or satin finish so you like it i was into it but now i think it's a it's an overkill to overdone it's like look at me look how cool i am just mm. an appearance package and there's nothing underneath all right well next is permanently overlanding vehicles so vehicles <laughs> that are being daily driven still with their roof tints on top and all yeah. their accessories yeah. the jerry cans yeah. the shovel to dig them out of the sand all the things still attached to the car oh, yeah. even though they are not going off-roading or oh, camping yeah. anytime in the next year <laughs> but it's all there because they want to look cool you never know people don't know when the zombie apocalypse is coming or else we would all be prepared and be against it like you just never know when something's going to happen. Then keep it in your garage and then mount it all back up. <laughs> like, why do you need to have it all? Hey, they look cool. And I, it's a really, a, I've had one of those rooftop tents in an old uh, Land Cruiser that I did. And it is yeah. a massive pain to take on and off. So once it's up there, you don't ever want to take it down right. that way, hundreds of pounds. Well, I just wouldn't want it that. to get dirty and weathered and be in the way. And it probably increases drag on your car and more gas mileage. It does. I don't know. And so the, I, I can't see leaving it on. My gas mileage went down Did two it? or three miles per gallon from those That's things. That's significant. It's, just, it's this much of just drag on the right, roof. Right, right. Yeah. That's an issue. Absolutely. The noise as well. So that one's, it still looks cool, but it is kind of stupid. It's too much. Next is fart cans that produce unpleasant exhaust notes. But like, is this real? What, 
This is a real list from Jalopnik. But, but yes, fart cans are very annoying. Yes. Wait, have, this is like a thing guys do. Oh, yes. An actual thing. Yes. Sorry, I'm being The cat smothered. is just so fascinated by your hair. You're not going to get her off of me. You're gonna, you're gonna She's put, like Velcro to me. No. She'll be back in like three seconds. Right. <laughs> here, you can go on the shelf right here. How is she going to get down from uh, there? We can figure it out. But, <laughs> oh, no. yeah, that's probably the step one if you're buying a Honda or whatever. They cut the exhaust off. And same with trucks. They want them to sound really good. They cut the exhaust off. And it got difficult to differentiate in recent years because of catalytic converter theft becoming such a big thing yeah. that did it happen because their catalytic converter was stolen or they're morons. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to tell. Right. But it is a very annoying thing, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, a, that's an issue. Okay, what's next? Next on the list is generic hot rods. <laughs> That's pretty no, harsh. That is harsh. Um, I, I guess, you know, everybody builds a hot rod the same way, right. you know, and, and does the same things. Uh, let's, let's just see what the actual comment is. I'll make a gross, generally sweeping statement. Mm -hmm. Most vehicles that have been modified by what amounts to adult children, people who are either immature or never really grew up, applied themselves, got an education, usually means they create monstrosities of the worst possible taste. See, that's what I think of, like, the Jeep guys that mod out their Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> but not hot rods. Right. Ford hot rods is more of like an art form, I feel like. Painted in yellow or purple with right. ugly chrome wheels. Apply that to around 75% of hot rods. I agree. Most of yeah. them are not tastefully done. Right. Well, they're with the, the flames, the generic right. flames. and. You're kind of talking about how we were redecorating our house and like I pick out something that looks nice and you like... That's been seen on HGTV a billion times. <laughs> yeah, that's like the Honda Civic of light fixtures. Right. right? And I picked it out that looks good. But so, and that's sort of the hot rod. You see it a lot where, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to take my 32 Ford and I'm going to put flames down the side. Right. It's going to be yellow or red. It's going to look just like the ZZ Top mm -hmm. cars of the 80s or 90s. Yeah. And they Here's all, what I yeah. get is they chop the top. Mm -hmm. And how do you fit in there? Like, I don't think you would be able to actually fit in there it's, with your well, you spikes just, you get a to give you a little haircut. A different seat. But yeah, chopping's kind of neat. It's yeah. a, I, I don't like it because you can't really see as well. You can't see out the back window. You can see the front window, and then you don't really fit. You have this tiny little scope to be able to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Next on the list, I already said this one in the beginning, mm -hmm. slam stanced cars and cambered wheels. Like I said earlier, this has got to be the stupidest one because it ruins the driving experience right. of the car. It makes it... Difficult to drive in city streets mm -hmm. with curbs and speed bumps and everything. You have to plan right. it all. It ruins the car performance-wise to track or anything. It does nothing but, to these people, make it look cool. D and it, do it, does, it doesn't look cool. Stan Stance Nation is, is dumb. Do cambered wheels actually make a big difference? It, it, For their like purpose. It, For their purpose. They, they drive, like, your, your car is now out of alignment. Right. Your tire patch has gone from the full tire patch to one side so you're wearing out your tires mm -hmm. it's i guess less traction so it's more dangerous mm -hmm. it, it's, it's stupid well it's, i it's guess my stupid. question is what is the point of doing that stance only for looks it is this fad this trend right. that at some point we'll look back on when this falls out of fashion at some point i imagine and just think so that's, there's no advantage whatsoever it's going to be like wheels. bell bottoms jeans <laughs> i guess those came back in the 90s or whatever they're back it, right now no, they're not. Not but, the huge uh, bells, but yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, just weird, cl like a leisure suit yeah. of, of disco or whatever. Okay. Like, uh, things like that. It, it's, it, it doesn't seem safe either. I don't like it. Okay. okay. Next. Superfluous exhaust pipes. Hmm. So somebody puts on, it's, it's a, got a single exhaust or a dual exhaust and they make it quads. A single exhaust right. and double. Right. So it's just got an extra pipe on it for, for no looks. reason for looks. Right. Which, yeah. you know, a lot of people do stuff just for looks. You see mm -hmm. a lot of fake air intakes and hood scoops and all that. I That's know you just... hate replicas. Just oh, my God. In general. Any replica at all, even though there's some beautifully done cars. Like, she hates them all. Just... I don't hate them all. And, I, I, like I mentioned before, I understand because our Grand National, you know, I put some GNX mods on it. I wouldn't be upset about that. But, mm -hmm. you know, where, where I get it, it's like you're trying to push this off as, you know, a Hearst Oldsmobile or you're trying to push this off as a Mach 1 and it wasn't born that way. And I, and I don't get why sometimes... A lot of times they will make more money, and why would you want to do uh, that? How, and that's that's the big head scratcher when it comes to Barry Jackson. What they've become famous for, which we're leaving soon to go to the auction, there mm -hmm. is real, amazing, documented 
survivors mm -hmm. and beautiful restorations to stock bringing this and then a resto mod bringing that yeah and <laughs> yeah. i can see i mean there's tons of work that goes in the resto mods that appreciate it and uh, like like the eleanor's which mm -hmm. was a big point of contention because I, I didn't like eleanor's because of the widow of hp halicki from gone in 60 seconds where she was suing anybody who made an eleanor type mm -hmm. car because she thought it was a character in a movie and the lawyers would litigate it and there was a YouTuber that, that had to give up his car and a mm -hmm. bunch of money because he didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't like the Eleanors, but when you look at the builds, you can appreciate it. But right. I, I'm, I'm talking more about replicas, like Watch the Cobra replica, <laughs> replicas. <laughs> oh, no. She landed on all four feet. Well, they're gonna land just fine. All four paws landed. She finally got up, she's there for a while. The the Cobra replicas and the, the Beck Spider is one that I had. Yeah. A, a, a Porsche Spider replica yeah. where the real deal is a million bucks. Right. And if you want something close to it, faster, modern, but still just as beautiful. I, right. I, I, I get it. Yeah, you, they're fun to drive. Don't. Well, the, here's the thing about resto mods is like when you're redoing a home and the colors that you're using or the woods that are trendy at that point, there's the resto mods that are using the coolest tech in 2024 but in 20 years from now they'll be outdated just like home restorations will yes. be outdated then now are we going to make all these resto mods electric are the ones that are selling for what some of them mm -hmm. are 700 800 thousand dollar resto well, mods are those not going to be worth anything i think down they're the doing road? a much better job with the resto mods than they did mm -hmm. 10 15 years ago where they had those chip foos boy cuttings and looking wheels that right. are certainly of the period and the screens were certainly of the period now uh, you look at like the Jeff Hayes cars that we mm -hmm. see that come to the auction. And the wheels are oversized, yes. Mm -hmm. They have the same general look of right. a period car, of a, like a 60s Corvette or a 50s Corvette, right. but it's oversized and modern. And then when it comes to the infotainment, they just keep it to a simple screen. Right. They don't go crazy with all the all the tech. Like They try and make things look as mm -hmm. factory and clean and mm -hmm. simple as possible. Mm -hmm. So I think they're doing a really well, good job and of that. You're saying they do better now, but is it because we like them now? And in 10 years from now, we're going to be saying the same thing over and over again. Right. Where, oh, back 10 years ago, they were making it this way, and now this is the correct way. I feel yeah. like there's always going to be a trend and a new correct way there to build certainly is. i think when they do a nod to how the car would have looked in period and sort of update that a little bit mm -hmm. it will age a lot better than going with the trends right now like right now instead of big bright chrome wheels mm -hmm. it will be blacked out you know yeah different so when uh, are like, spinners coming back there you go <laughs> spinners that would be great so next on your list oh no influencers <laughs> social media handles on your car yeah you built yourself a cool car and you see it rolling down the street, well, you gotta put your Instagram handle on it so they follow you on Insta to see more shots of your cool car. I don't mind that. Like mm -hmm. a Vinwicky, your guys, got it on the back of his. And, and, and his sponsors and everything. Sponsors. And he puts them all on their, yeah. Like if mm -hmm. I saw a really cool build, I'm curious who wanted that, who had it built or who built it. So I'm not mad about putting a go. logo on the back. If they look really stupid, they're fun to look up and see <laughs> what they've done, you know, and exactly. like how stupid they are. It goes yeah, both it's, ways. it's perfect, yes. That's the. That's not cringy. You don't have any on your... I haven't seen any. Some of the Car Trek cars still have the Car Trek sticker on yeah. them. But yeah. No, we need new really. Hoobies Garage Oh, stickers. so it does have replicas on here. The kick Oof. cars. Oof. Yes. I'm cringy. So this one, they have the Fiero replica to look like a, a 308 from Oof. Magnum PI or whatever, which was so a big cool thing. cool if it was. <laughs> so cool. Would you drive this? I've driven them. They're fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was a point in time where I really wanted one of these because it was the closest I could ever afford right. with a Ferrari and right. thought it'd be funny to own a Mara, which was a popular kit car company. Yeah. And I've had a fake Porsche Spider mm -hmm. with a Subaru engine that would be twice as fast as any period Porsche of, right. of that time. And right. Wonderful to drive. Beautiful to look at. And mm -hmm. like I've driven replica cobras and they're right. incredible mm -hmm. so i don't mind them as much as you do but, right uh, <laughs> I, know. I yeah. don't know what it is i'm just i just not into them and then the final slide is actually an ad so uh, i got tricked i thought there was one more but it's a way for them to make money because you think it's one more slide well, and it's, what, a, it's a pop-up ad what Sorry. is the worst replica car that you feel like you've ever seen oh Goodness, um, went to see Video Bob and yeah. his Countach replicas, and he had one very nice one, a Fiero car that I was able to drive, it was right. automatic, and then one terrible one, <laughs> which it? he knew was terrible, but he just yeah. wanted some parts off of it. There, like there's some, like nothing looked right on yeah. that car. Yeah. It, was, it was all bad, but there's 
there's some other like the ones that are made to look like old Duesenbergs or right. pre-war cars where they stretched out the nose on them. Mm -hmm. I think those are so bad it's good. Right. The Zimmers, the Zimmer <laughs> Golden Spirits, that kind of like I I think they're cool because they are so absolutely hideous. Yeah. They're based on like Mercury Cougars or Thunderbirds or Mustangs, mm -hmm. uh, Fox Body Mustangs. Right. Yeah. The only good thing about them is that you feel a lot better and more comfortable driving a Cobra Recreation than you do the real thing down the road. You wouldn't want to yes. drive it anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I understand that part of it. I had a fake GT350 Mustang. <laughs> Finally sold it and got a real one and then didn't drive the real one. But See, yeah. there, there's uh -huh. there's the issue. What do you exactly. do? So you're going to buy Bob, Video Bob's uh, fake Countach? And so I can, because I'm, I'm to scared to drive one. my Countach. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. so, that's great. Well, do you agree with this list for the most part? It's a good list. It's a solid list. And uh, I feel like I would love to drive Video Bob's fake Countach. Grab the laptop. Grab the laptop. Jeez. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and we're going to take this cat to uh, <laughs> a like school. He looks as half cat, half dog. It's it's Do you have any suggestions on how to help no. her not take over the set? Please let, let us know. <laughs> Stop it. Ah, I'm digging in. It's still going.